tonight, we are doing Whip Ale. Have you heard of it? Have you heard of it? You've probably heard of the person who is the mastermind behind it. Probably it, not the person, but um, well, probably yeah. definitely the, the beer, or the band. The beer, the, the band. Beer, 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 Freudian beer. Flip. The band. The band. Queensryche. Michael Wilton. Michael Wilton. Michael Wilton. Michael Wilton, come on down. Come on to the sh Michael Whip Wilton. Oh, that's why they call it. That's why they call it Whip. Whip Ale. I thought it just had to do with why, cars. Why are you doing that? Why are you accentuating the H? Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying Wheatins. Say wheat. Wheat. Now say Wheatins. 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 Why? Wheat? Superb quality, it says right there on the bottle. Oh, <laughs> Review done. Uh, whip ale. So it, it is made by. Sorry, sorry. Diamond Knot Brewing. Yeah. Out of Michael. Do it. Go on. Uh, Michael yeah, Teo Washington. Michael. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did he just say? So it's pale ale, uh, and I, and I got it just because it said on there it's the dude from Queens Rock, and I'm like, why not? Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? And I don't think we've ever reviewed anything from Diamond Knot Brewing, but I have personally picked up some beers from Diamond Knot, and um, they, they were very good. So I, I'm intrigued. Normally we don't complain about this much, Head. Uh, I, I can't. It's, pick up your glass because it doesn't even feel like there's any alcohol in it. It's just... <laughs> well, my foam smoke... I can't, I can't smell anything. Actually. It smells kind of spicy. It looks like... It's, it looks like, like the old school, like the angels would float on one of those clouds. Yes. Yes. Alright, let's try to... I... I can't, I can't work it, with this. I it, can't work with this. I can't work with this, people. I'm, I'm going to chew my way through this. The rabbit agrees. This is uncalled for. <laughs> Beer stash. So, I don't, uh... Oh, she had a yeast infection. Oh. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. That phone could stop bullets. Like, remember the fucking... Remember the phone and demol the phone the phone and demol slow down, Brian. Why don't you get the joke out? <laughs> Remember the foam in Demolition Man where he hits and he crashes the car and it just goes. <laughs> let's uh, make, make, let's, let's find our way through it. Thank you. Seriously though, no no jokes with this. No, bad bad dog. Bad dog. Bad diamond knot. Bad. He, they need to rub their nose in it. This is not this, this tastes like I mean I understand that it's named after a a rock star, right? Um it tastes like this rock star who is stinking like smoke and drugs and whiskey just jumped in the vat while it was fucking brewing. Because you get that, that funky sense of desperation with every sip. It's, it tastes um, like an aging rocker. It tastes like an aging rocker. If you, just, if, if, if you ever find, um, like, Nikki Six. <laughs> or Keith, can you imagine a Keith Richards Keith beer? Richards. Yeah, he's although, little, although I'd love to too, taste too a, dusty. a Keith Richards uh, scotch. Pleased to meet you. Hope you guess my name. That'd probably be just perfect. Probably got a little heroin in there too, but that's. Yeah. Go lick an aging rocker, um, and and this. Well, is ask your parents that. first. Just, kids watch the show. It's, this is horrible. 
It's a horrible fucking beer. It... And I, I knew it was going to be. It, it's a gimmick beer. It's it's some rocker that's like, you want to pay me 50 grand to stick my Seriously, name on a like beer? What? I don't give a shit. There's something like tobacco-y about it. Uh, it's not... This is shitty. It's not good. There, um, there's okay. a pale ale in there somewhere, but there's like this... It's it's creamy for no reason. There's some kind of funky flavor on top of it. Like I say, it reminds me for whatever reason of cigarettes. It's yeah, if you were to liquefy a cigarette and stick it in there. Like like you ever see the the corona bottles with the cigarette in them at the end of the night and if you just go like drink that, it's mm. probably pretty fucking close to what that would be. I, I was thinking more of an ashtray left out in the rain and it fills it up with that brownish water. And if you just took that and went but then, but then made it look like a pale ale. And, well, you just, you know, foam the shit out of it. it this is, this is not, I can't. Don't do it. Don't do it. That just tastes, it tastes like there's something wrong with it. We want to be clever sign-offs, so, uh... Yeah, we got, we got, we got <laughs> yeah. <laughs>